I, I switched shirts because it was time, but also I like it. And notice how a young person, I cut the top just because it was tight. And it's okay. As, as, if we go back to this young mentality, then we can do anything and everything's okay. You know what I'm saying? So don't overthink life. Now, with that being said, I'm on here for a reason. One, I got off the phone with first the group that helped me through my surgery and here that was a McLaughlin surgery in March that I read. It's either one or two percent of humans have had. Um, and I'm that's another part of the story, but very thankful. Hence why I'm here for everyone in the world equally. Sorry, I'll take these out. And then, um, and as I talked to her, she was amazing and did accent salt me, and I said, that's good, you know, because everybody's equal. Anyways, was, we were laughing, found out her name was Kristen, and I said, Kristen, from your name, and this came after my brain surgery from December, new nicknames as if we're young, but let's do it in a fun way using our brain and our soul combined in a new way we never have. So Kristen, I see you as a kit, K-I-T from your name, and I said this over the phone, and I said, um, you're like a kit, and, and thank you, because you're another stranger beside me that has gotten me through all this, and every one of you are equal in matter. And, um, and, and, and she was right there with me, but she was a kit reminding, and I told her she also, well, I don't know if I told her this part, but in my brain, Jeremy, she's a kit. She reminds you to be a kit for everyone and see everyone else as a kit, something we all could use. And then she transferred me to the team that was going to check my brain and everything in my body as I sleep throughout one night. It's a test, but it got rescheduled. She said she thinks, so when I called in, I got the voicemail, I left my voicemail, and thanked whoever was on the voicemail and the whole staff there for everything um, that they've done for me, and all strangers beside me, and everyone, and, 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 and how the people I believe that are with me are, you know, all of us actually, are, you know, Kobe Bryant, Prince, Michael Jackson, John F. Kennedy, George Floyd, um, Martin Luther King, Stephen Jobs, the list keeps going and going. I know I say a lot of them the same sometimes, but the list keeps going. And I, I said, but I'm so thankful for all of you and you mean so much to me. And then I stopped. And then I felt, am I supposed to make this into a video? All the powers I just mentioned, am I? And then I realized it was 4.17 p.m. Didn't know it before, seriously. And uh, so I do what I do, and I hit. I said, if this is, what's the answer? Click, and then you'll see the song that started this whole thing. And it was almost speaking word for word for me. And, and a, a great new thing I do with my brain, and we all could do if we went back to being feeling young, is hearing songs differently and speaking to us differently. This is real. So that exact song doesn't... I forget who it was now, but... This is kind of cool, right? So you can tell them that honest, but how you listen to songs differently is hear how they're speaking to you. I know the last one was Will Smith, you know, the two of us or whatever, but uh, uh, this one, uh, he's standing on the uh, train track and speaking. Anyways, you'll see, but I did know after the screenshot because I noticed 417, I said, okay, I hit shuffle, I turn my head when I feel like I'm supposed to because it's talking to me. I um, I hit the screenshot and then I noticed it was 27 seconds. So I said, okay, do this video, Jeremy. So now I'm just sharing this as the truth. What do you take from it? Listen to all music differently. All of us are equal. And I will always be here for every single one of you in the world, I promise. And I'm gonna do everything I can to give you spaces to learn about all this or maybe get motivation, whatever it may be. And remember, as NSYNC and, and Justin Timberlake, a.k.a. In Time, would say, when it comes to anxiety, depression, all these things, let's go get at it. It's a race we can go on. And as fast as we can, get rid of anxiety, depression, all these different things by saying, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> Sing it differently. What you mean? You know, like, bye, bye, bye. I don't know. That's just me. Bye.